to nine, when it comes to getting an inheritance, chances are you might be given some money, a nice bit of jewelry, or some sort of special memento. A 16th century mansion is perhaps slightly more unusual. Mm. Although it might sound like a dream for some, this particular house in Surrey comes with a really hefty repair bill which stretches actually into the millions. How to pay for it then? Well, his new owner, Bamba Gascoigne, is selling off some of its previously undiscovered treasures. Nina Warhurst went for a look around ahead of the Sotheby's auction. It really is like something from a fairy tale, unexpectedly inheriting a 16th century mansion and with it thousands of hidden treasures. Henry VIII came to lunch here one day. Did he? Yes. He Bamba Gascoigne was surprised to learn that his aunt left him West Horsley Place in Surrey. And perhaps more surprised to learn it'll need £7 million of repairs to save it. It's the most extraordinary thing if you're at a certain age, as I am indeed having been 80 this year, um, to have a project like this suddenly given you or dumped on you, whichever you think, beautiful and wonderful, but falling down. And my aunt, when she was told there was another drip, I think, just ordered another bucket rather than asking somebody to look at the roof. His Aunt Mary was the glamorous Duchess of Roxburgh. Born into the aristocratic crew family, she was so close to the royals she held a canopy for the Queen Mother during her coronation in 1937. Four peeresses bring the golden canopy. The Queen kneels at the altar. Her wedding to the Duke made the front page of Tatler. She was beautiful. She Absolutely is. Yeah. beautiful. Yes, she is. But as she got older, the Duchess became more private. Most doors were locked and these hidden clues to history were left to gather dust. The sun's now streaming through these windows again for the first time in 50 years. She loved giving large family lunches and we'd all gather in the great hall below, but we never, any of us, were asked to look around upstairs. I'd never seen this amazing room until I arrived here as the owner of it. I think this is my favourite room. It's the servant's kitchen and you can really imagine all of the plates clattering and all of the staff here gossiping. And these enormous trunks are what the family used to transport their silver and their crockery. And inside, the newspaper that was used to wrap it. This one's from 1932. Oh my goodness, it's packed. It's extraordinary, isn't it? All these door after door revealed treasure after treasure, all of which will be dusted off and sold at auction to pay for repairs. So what was it like coming here and just opening those doors? Um, it's definitely been a career highlight. I find this layering, it's like one of those Russian dolls that you open, things packed away, whether a beautiful mahogany chest of drawers, you open, finding in a bottom drawer an incredible crew family livery. And this is a footman's jacket. It's absolutely extraordinary. She must have known they were there. They were worn at her wedding in 1935. And there's a complete set in the house, right up from the, the boy to the coachman. The mystery of why Mary never told Bamba that West Horsley would be his will probably never be solved. It's a very interesting question, isn't it? I have no idea why she didn't tell me. She might have mentioned once or twice, actually, you ought to take an interest in this house. Would you like to come and see upstairs? <laughs> but she didn't. She didn't. <laughs> no. But Bamba hopes that the auction will raise enough to secure a bright future for this house with a remarkable past. Nina Warhurst, BBC News. It's a big challenge, though, isn't it, eh? £7 million? Pounds. It's sort of like dream come true for some people, though. A lot of work. Good luck to him. Uh, nine o'clock this month, we'll be hearing from politicians.